Coming right up is Indie News number 87. It's an all IDW Dark Horse update. And in it, we have stories on Frankenstein, Infestation Mach 2 from IDW. Popeye and Kiss are both getting comics coming up. Uh, also, the return of a character who was born in Blue Island. Swear to God, he was born in Blue Island. Uh, the Artist Editions, IDW has plans for more of those. Chris Robertson's memorial is coming up. Guillermo del Toro is doing a book based on Strain over at Dark Horse. Dark Horse Presents 3. There's all sorts of happenings with that, including something by Jim Steranko, the Jim Steranko. Dark Horse Presents is also doing a thing called The Treatment. And the return of Dairy Products Gone Bad. All that and more coming right up. When indie comic news calls, Bone Comic Book Man come running. I mean, if they could run, they would. It's the beginning of wisdom or sour stomach. <laughs> Indie Comic Book News, episode 87. A cheek full of chalk. Hey folks, Comic Book Man here. Welcome once again to my video outhouse. It's time for... What time is it, honey? It's Indie News number 87. Indie News number 87! It's an all IDW Dark Horse Indie News. And Indie News number 87 is coming to you from this place right here, Alternate Reality, which is located at the intersection of 111th and Kedzie in beautiful downtown Mount Greenwood. Alternate Reality, where all my new indie comics are always 15% off. All my IDWs, all my Dark Horses, they're always 15% off. Every day for everyone. Bo! Yes? Steve Niles. Yes? What's he up to? He and Bernie writes that are going to be doing a 13-issue series for IDW called Frankenstein Alive Alive. But he's dead, he's dead. He's a stitched together body. But he's alive in his own special way. <laughs> it's alive, it's al oh, alive, alive. It's alive, it's alive. It's not Frankenstein, it's the monster. It's the monster. Everybody says Doc oh. Frankenstein's the doctor. Yes, Frankenstein is the doctor. So is this about Frankenstein the doctor or is this about Frankenstein the monster? <laughs> the monster. It's, it's about just as Frankenstein, so it must be about the doctor. It's about the monster. The monster. No, no, no. What the monster is actually damn popular. I mean, there's a couple movies in development, and NBC just greenlit his Frankenstein series. Nice. And you know why? He's public, public domain. domain. Anybody can. Do. I don't have to pay you for this. <laughs> I, I can, can do whatever I want. Hey, I can do up a Frankenstein movie whenever the hell I want. All I have to do is make sure he doesn't look like the Universal hey, Frankenstein. Anybody who thinks he can make a series out of that? Because Universal has the rights to Boris Karloff's look, and they'll sue your butt off if you try to make a but movie. But if you don't make him great like with that. bolts in his neck, you're cool. Yeah, you're cool. You're cool. <laughs> do what you want to do. You're in like Flynn. You're in like Flynn. Uh. Danger Girl, Transformers, G.I. Joe, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Outside of being at IDW, what do those all have in common? Those are the characters that will be featured in the 2012 sequel to Infestation. Joe's so, coming up twice. Joe's coming up twice. And, and Transformers. Yeah, and Joe, Danger, Girl's Danger, get some play Danger Girl. Well, they've got a nice relationship with J. Scott Campbell. I think yeah. they did a reprint of something. So They did a great big reprint of uh, Danger Girl. Yeah, So and Campbell's still working on the Marvel project he's been working on for six years. So he won't have anything to do with the book himself, but he'll probably do covers. Hey, Jay Scott, take your time. Nobody cares. Uh, <laughs> Jeff, no, 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 Jeff Loeb's doing it. Did, did Jeff Loeb and Spider-Man? Well, okay, if Jeff Loeb's doing it, then maybe people It's Loeb and Spider-Man. He's just taking his time. Uh, Danger Girl and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are taking the place of Star Trek and Ghostbusters, uh, Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters from the original Infestation. And there'll be more monsters. Okay. What do Popeye and Kiss have in common? That's right, Popeye to Sailor Man <laughs> and <laughs> Kiss... <laughs> What do they have in What's common? IDW is going to do comic versions of both of them. They're also relaunching James O'Barr's The Crow. Brilliant. That's been sitting out there forever and nobody's done anything with it. Anything about, and what do you know about Popeye? I could care less about Kiss. But um, about Popeye? Sorry, got, Kiss fans. Well, they, they've, got, they've got some people who worked. Is it going to be funny? Things. Is it going to be straight? It's going to be funny. How are you going to play Popeye straight? It's going to be funny. There was, a there was a company a couple of years ago, that it only lasted one or two issues, they did a Popeye comic, and they did it semi-serious, mm -hmm. and it died after two yeah, issues. Yeah, this is going to be funny. Okay. I'd like to see that. Humor involved. How that worked? They got, well, they got people who work there that can do humor books, and so it'll be humorous. Okay. Uh, IDW has done, and is continuing to do, the artist editions Big of different stuff. Massive. The uh, Simons and Thor. Simons and Thor. That's uh, one of them. They've announced at San Diego. They announced Rocketeer. Three, they're Rocketeer. Rocketeer. I think Rocketeer was first. Simons and yep. Thor was second. They announced three more collections. They, they're doing a John Romita Senior Amazing Spider-Man, which I think is like the first four issues he did or something like that. Okay. They're doing Walt Eisner's The Spirit, which he made a little deal with DC because he had this deal with Marvel where they could reprint the stuff. And they're going to do a collection of Wally Wood's EC stories. Oh, okay. Well, and, that'll look cool. Right, look and cool. they said that there's a bunch more of these going on because they just made the deal with DC and Marvel said, you can do whatever the hell you want. Just ask me what you want. And if you got the pages, you can do it. Okay. 
Uh, IDW is doing a series called Memorial, which is starting in February. What's Memorial? Though? It's a five-issue limited series from uh, Superman's Chris Robertson. Chris Robertson is the guy who also works on iZombie, and he came in and finished the JMS stuff. Uh, it's about it's a it's a book that's set in a magic store, and here by a girl who that and she goes into the store one day, yes. and then the store's there, and then she goes out, and then the store's gone. Oh! And yeah. then she goes she may go she may go a couple blocks the next day, and the store just sort of pops up. And she goes in and out of this. This that? is Robertson's plan of a series of five issue limited series. He's going to keep this going for as long as possible because, well, iZombie, iZombie still exists, and I think he's doing some other stuff over at DC. She's wandering around to look for the store. IDW the loves working for him. Well, she, I, apparently she can find it whenever she wants to, but no one else can. Okay. And that's it. We're done. We're finished with IDW news, but don't go anywhere. We've got Dark Horse news. <laughs> and now it's time for the Dark Horse section of the show. Uh, Dark Horse will adapt Guillermo del Toro's novel series... The Strain. The Strain. Uh, they, they think, they think they're, they think they're like uh, vampires. Okay. But uh, David Lapham and Mike Huddleston are going to do it. They're going to adapt uh, the novels Fall and Night Eternal. And if those sell, they'll do some more after that point. Uh, the, ID, uh, the people over at Dark Horse, they signed a whole bunch of deals with people to do stuff. They also signed Lance Henderson. He's going to write a book for Dark Horse. Oh, really? I didn't know Lance could write. I know, we're going to find out. Well, okay. Aliens, we'll yes. Out, yeah. Aliens, Lance. Yeah, yeah. Aliens and Millennium's Bishop. Lance yeah. Bishop. Yeah. 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 He's going to write a comic book. Millennium. Uh, he's like Millennium. Yeah. Millennium, too. Yeah. Dark Horse has got, oh, man, the Wheatonverse, Buffy and Angel and all of them are getting ready to Spike gear up. So they are they are from our time here just, just, just scant weeks away. Very they're, sure. they're heading yeah. our way. They're, they're, the they're, they're coming. Lunch. They're coming really, really soon. Angel and Faith is the Angel title yeah. that's coming out. It's two of them together, not just Angel, but Angel and Faith. What are they doing? Uh, what are the two kids doing? The, basically, at the end of the stuff that uh, who had who had the rights to IDW? IDW before, um, and then you had the whole Twilight thing going on with what Twilight or whatever the hell it was, where yeah. Angel went. You know, Angel went catatonic and he left the country. Well, he went yeah. to England, and Faith has him. And they're going to be exploring Giles' past in this series. And they're going to be living in Giles' house. So are they picking up now? Is that from the Dark Horse or the IDW continuity? That's that's from the Dark Horse continuity. He's okay. over there and he's dealing with stuff. He's basically back and he's still dealing with the fact that he was trying to kill people and became evil. Uh, now, some of this series, a long time ago for all you Buffy fans, it actually, uh, Giles was at the Wizard World. He's there today. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, he's down there? Yeah, Anthony Michael Hell is there, supposedly. Okay. I, I, mean, I think he, I, was, he wasn't listed. Okay. He might have shown. I up. think people show, people were there that weren't listed. But so uh, anything's possible. Whedon has already suggested that he wants to do a Giles spinoff called Ripper that never right. really got right. done. Uh, this comic book will use some of the stuff that he's always wanted to do with the series. Yeah. So you'll be seeing Giles hanging around because it's a, it's a Giles is dead. You know, and he was killed by Angel. It's a hot little yes. property. Very popular. Was that in the series, or was that in... That was in uh, the Dark Horse. In the yeah, it was in Dark Horse. Oh, in Dark Horse. Yeah, he killed him. Oh, okay. That was that was why he went, my God, Angel's evil. You know, if, if, if Angel and Buffy and the rest of them ever come back on TV or in movies, guess what? That continuity will be a whole different continuity. <laughs> They'll bring Giles back. <laughs> well, yeah, but you know, but it'll be we, like the Star Trek continuity. There's comic book you, continuity. There's novel continuity. There's movie continuity. There's TV series continuity. I, I, if, that, if that ever happens, I would see a whole recast. Of well, so well, but, recast well you've got movie. that. But the, the people who did the original Buffy film, they're still doing that crappy remake restart, and they can do whatever the which hell the they fan, want. Which the fans are going to show fans up gonna, for. And, 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 and we even was at San Diego, and they talked and said, would you ever do another movie or TV show? And he goes... If he says no, but he said you know, if someone came up with a good idea and they wanted to give me a bunch of money and they want to leave me the hell alone, yeah, okay, I would. <laughs> but ne that's not going to happen. Never say never. Right, but you know, you say say things about Firefly. He said he'd be more than willing to do more Firefly things. You know, people are going to pay to see it, but he said he'd be more than willing to do it. Dark Horse has this anthology book, Dark Horse Presents. The third issue is coming up real soon, and it's going to feature a special bit of goodness from Jim Steranko. That's right, Jim Steranko. It's going to be actually 24 extra pages, yeah. which at no extra cost. At no extra cost. And it's already a thick book. It's already a thick book. It'll have a recolored edition of Jim Steranko's Chandler Red Tide, which is one oh, of the okay. first graphic novels. Yeah. And at, after Dark Horse Resist number three ships, the book will no longer be quarterly or bi-monthly. It'll be monthly. Okay. Monthly. Monthly. Also in Dark Horse Presents, Dave Gibbons is doing the treatment. It's a, the treatment? Yeah, it's a digitally, he's, he's, he doesn't really do a lot of digital work. He's going to draw this thing digitally. It's going to be featuring a highly trained police force followed around by reality TV show cameras. Yeah. So, and he's also working on that Mark Millar superhero thing, whatever the hell it is. Which Millar still isn't similar. Highly trained is. reality TV Hi, cameras? Well, I, well, the highly trained police force and half ass camera guys following around. <laughs> but they'll be, you know, but they'll be the stuff. people who work on you know, the bachelor and stuff. Yeah, right. In case you haven't been paying any attention, 
Hellboy. I didn't skip, oh, any, I didn't oh, skip anything. Didn't Hellboy is walking the last mile right now as we speak in their in his comic. Hellboy the Fury number three. He died. He dies. He dead. Now, now that won't be the last time we'll see the character because and of course you'll never ever 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 well, ever no, ever no, ever no, ever no, no. They can do stories. Well, actually, he said he's not going to be coming back in modern day times anytime soon. They are going to do some stuff set in the past, and I believe Mike McNoll's got some project for next year called Hellboy in Hell. So, oh, well, there you go. So well we okay, Hellboy gets killed, he goes to hell, he goes to he'll spend some time in hell, and at some point he'll buy his way out of hell and come back. You'll find but you gotta figure Hellboy for hell is not gonna be that bad. Well, yeah. you know, it depends. Hellboy wants to smoke cigars and stuff, maybe they don't have a cigar store in hell. Oh, that'd be hellish. That'll be hell for right. him. Our final story involves my two favorite, and this is true, my two favorite indie comic book characters of all time. They're created by Evan Dorkin, and they, they are a wedge of hate and a slice of anger, or whatever the hell they are. Milk and cheese! God, I love milk and cheese. I, I, wish, I, I wish Dorkin would do a book every month with those two characters. He's really lactose intolerant. That, and I'm lactose intolerant. I love milk and cheese. Well, he's not Dairy products gone bad. He's not coming back to the characters anytime soon, but no. Dark Horse is going to be doing a hardback omnibus collection yeah. of every milk and cheese story ever done. So this will be a coffee table sized book filled with all the milk If and you've cheese. never read milk and cheese, it's you've got to read milk and cheese. Milk and cheese is damn funny. It is funny as damn hell. Damn funny. <laughs> it is incredibly self-referential for, 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 for the comic book industry. It is not funny. for the kids. It is not for the kids. No. Leave it on the coffee table. you got to put it in the fridge. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 but yeah, it's, I don't, it's probably about like a $90 book. Uh, I, well, I, maybe I like milk and cheese that much. Well, maybe less. <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, I love them. I don't love ninety bucks. I mean, they, I mean well, you, I mean, they were basically. I mean, they weren't exactly a long story. So who knows? Well, they're one page, one pages, or three yeah, or four pages. Yeah, they're one. Yeah, so they'll be short. So maybe it'll be seventy-five bucks or sixty bucks or something like that. So, okay. But if you get it here, you get it. Just what does that mean to a man like you, Bo? <laughs> I pick this no. up. He's cool. I like milk and cheese. And that's it. We're done with Finish Around Review. we got no more indie news, but you can go to the store's website and check out all the indie news that this man sends me that I post up. Where is the store's website at? The dairy section www.myalternatereality.com Can I get back to my numbers now? So, go to the store's website and check out... I say Bo's website. Yes, you do. <laughs> go to Bo's website. I co-opted it! It's a takeover! It's a corporate takeover! Ah, screw it. Go to Bo's website and check out all the Woo! news that I send him that he Power! Posts up. Power! <laughs> Until next time, this is Comic Book Man. And this website. is the owner of the website, Bo, website. saying... Bye! Bye. The Video Outhouse is brought to you by some of the finest people willing to work for free. This is a list of some of them. <laughs>